Trader Joe's is so stressful. It was so stressful. Danielle asked me to review the CeraVe Daily Moisturizer Lotion. And Delaney and her Trader Joe's guy looked like we they were really hitting. getting like getting. They were hitting it off. Yeah. up welcome back to another college week in my life it's a very dreary gloomy rainy monday um it's a little bit later i started the vlog a little bit later today i'm sorry um but i'm drinking some green tea right now about to get on my computer it's just like so cozy like i i don't want to do anything but definitely need to get my ducks in a row and get ready for the week ahead. It's gonna be another week in college, a little vlog. Nothing much to report here, really. Just kind of chilling. Delaney's in her room doing some work. It's kind of chill day doing laundry. Yeah, but anyways, welcome to another week in my life. And next time I update you, hopefully it'll be something else. <laughs> Delaney's come to join me for some work. It's so cool. Like, it just thundered, you guys. It's thundering. All right, you guys, it's now dinner time. I have been obsessed with this Progresso hearty chicken and rotini soup, especially on like a cold, rainy day like this. It sounds so cozy. And Delaney and I are going grocery shopping tomorrow, and we're gonna plan our meals, and it's gonna be great. But until then, no harm in a little canned soup moment. I'm just making this, getting some homework done, and I'm just in this cozy mood. I hope you guys are feeling cozy as you're watching this. Delaney just went and bought soup too. Oh, Hall. ramen. So yum. Hall, is this your dinner tonight? Or are you doing sure. soup tonight? I don't know yet. What is your decided. soup of choice? A little chicken noodle soup? Campbell the best. Yum. It's soup night. AK, okay, we don't have groceries yet. Also, look at this little gift from Delaney's mom for Valentine's Day. She made these, right? Yeah, they're chocolate covered Oreos. Ugh, oh, looks amazing. So sweet. So cute. Dinner is served. All right, you guys, Delaney and I are about to head to our apartment gym. We don't do this a lot. Actually, she goes a good amount, um, but I don't I don't go a lot. I'm pretty much a spinner, but I don't know. I'm going to spin like twice this week, and I don't know. I'm just kind of in a mood to like do some sort of workout, like an ab and leg workout. I looked some up on Pinterest. Like I literally don't know what I'm doing, so whatever. But I just want to like get some movement in, maybe walk on the treadmill for, you know, 10 minutes to warm up and then do a 20-minute Workout. So this is my little workout fit. I got it off Revolve. Um, I forget what brand it was. I got or I think it's Beyond Yoga. It's like this snakeskin print. However, I'm gonna put on this like cropped Georgia t-shirt. Alright, we're about to head down. I just thought I'd show you. I got one of the Skims masks and I get the hype. I understand why people like them. They just fit so well to your face. So comfortable. I'll link them down below if they're still on sale. I know they like restocked them. I also put on my Apple Watch track. Let's go. Hi guys. So, quick 30 minute workout, which is my personal favorite. I don't, I just like after a while I just get bored of the gym. Do any of you guys feel this way? But it was good. I walked slash ran for 10 minutes. I kind of like ran on the beat drops. I treated it like spin. And then I did this little like Pinterest workout. I found it was like abs and legs. And then I did 30 squats. I'm going to try and do 30 squats every day. We'll see how that goes. I'm hopping on our Strike Magazine all staff meeting. That is right now. So it's perfect. I got a little 30 minute workout in. And then just going to body shower probably. And like I already ate dinner. I feel like I'm gonna be hungry again later. So yeah, that was good though. I feel like better. I feel better. Um, it's like the first founder of Strike Magazine. We had our Strike meeting, our like whole staff meeting, which was really really fun. And then I body showered, and I kind of wish I washed my hair, but that's a tomorrow problem. I also thought it was gonna rain tomorrow because it's been raining all week, and now it's not gonna rain tomorrow, which I'm really really happy about because it's been really dreary. But the problem is I should have washed my hair. This is Dreary, a dreary day. I'm drinking my nightly booch and 
working on a reflection paper that's due tomorrow morning. Our classes just got canceled tomorrow morning if they're on Zoom or in person because of rain. I just think that's so funny. I'm so, obviously I'm here for it. I think it's because some professors still come onto campus to um, like, you know, present the class and just do it on Zoom there. So I get it, but I know my professor in specific, she doesn't always, so. But I mean, hey, I get to sleep in a little bit. You guys, <laughs> I just really had to share this with you because I'm sure other people have experienced this. We have to write this one page reflection paper for my creativity and the design process class. And I wrote a good amount. Like I wrote a good amount. I was like, this is great. And then I was like, oh, this is definitely enough. Can't wait to delete all the bullet points, double space it, 12 point times new Roman. I go back. This is my fault, completely my fault. It's single spaced, 12 point font, one page. That just really stung to the heart. So um, now I only have about three fourths of the paper done. I'm being so dramatic, I'm aware it's one page, but oh, that just really stings. All right, my friends, we are done. That's done. And I am so sleepy now. And then I just realized I can't even get into bed because my sheets and other laundry are in the dryer. So I have to make my bed. Before I even think about and ideally I am going to fold my clothes so I'm just gonna put on some Netflix or something and do that mm. I these aren't even bad I'm jealous um so to all the boys I've loved before part three has come out it's called always and forever so I'm gonna start it while I fold laundry I love watching stuff while I fold laundry here we go all right you guys the time has come to put the fitted sheet on my bed. I just am dreading this. Someone said there's something I can buy on Amazon or something that'll like help. Here is a corner. Sometimes I often have to redo this. And then my mattress topper gets all wonky. It's like, what do you do? Uh, oh, and now it's up on that corner over there. And then, oh, okay. Oh. All right. We did it. All right, bed's finally made, just for me to get back into it, but I will see you guys in the morning. Manifesting the sun's gonna come out today. Um, I just got dressed for the day and I'm headed to do some work. Sometimes I just can't focus in my room. I don't know if anyone else agrees. So sometimes if I'm having a creative block or I just can't seem to want to get my work done, I just go somewhere. Here is my little outfit. I'm wearing, I literally wear this top all the time. This one's actually from Princess Polly. Um, I have another one from Verge Girl that's super similar. Necklace, it's especially lucky on Instagram. Hat, I think Urban Outfitters. Um, sweatpants are from Aritzia. And then my Adidas shoes I was wearing last night. And then I'm just going to add a puffer jacket. And I'm just going to pack a little um, tote bag of my things I want to bring. I'm going to bring my AirPods. Doing well daily, of course. Wallet blue light glasses these are from movement and vmt and obviously computer and i'll probably bring my charger too So 
that I wouldn't put my vlog camera on my hand sanitizer ever again, but here I am doing it. Um, hey guys, so it's now 12.30. I got so much done. I don't know what it is. Sometimes when you're just at a place and you literally go there to do work, you just feel more forced to get things done. Oh my gosh, the sun is coming out. It has been raining for like a week straight. But yeah, I got a good amount done. I have two group projects pretty much every week. Um, so I went ahead and like texted in my group me and was like, hey guys, do you want to sign who does what? I just kind of facilitated that because then it allows for everyone to get in the right headspace. Um, so normally I go through my to-do list, but I got some of it done already. However, right now I am working on an individual discussion post that I have to do for my brand management class. We're actually talking about different careers in the fashion brand management community. Um, and kind of going through each of the roles. It's kind of interesting. We have to decide our career interest of choice and then go from there with the tasks and the responsibilities and, you know, how you could contribute to that. I don't know. It actually kind of applies to real life, which is really cool. So I don't really know. Our options are merchandise manager, accessories designer, product engineer, retail buyer, journalist for a fashion publication, and marketing or communications professional. Right now, I'm working on our group project for my fashion brand management class. Um, and we're doing a study on Ralph Lauren and how they've added, you know, certain diffusion brands. That reminds me of that movie. I think it's I Feel Pretty when they're trying to do a diffusion line into Target and they're like... La la la. And, oh my gosh. If you guys know the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Also have to finish an assignment for my creativity and the design process class. And I'm gonna come up with a little grocery list because Delaney and I are going to Trader Joe's later today. Um, also just finished prepping for a podcast today. We are uploading our episode with Remy from Veggiekins tomorrow. And um, so it'll already be up at the time you guys are watching this vlog. But Brooke and I always record an intro on our own, so we do our tip of the week, uh, business of the week, and this week, this month for Black History Month, we're highlighting only black-owned businesses, which is really fun, and then we also do our favorite of the week. So um, you'll have to tune in to this week's episode to see what all those were for me, but I just planned all those. Computer sounds like an airplane is taking off. What's new? That's all I got for you guys right now. <laughs> guys just showered i'm wearing my jane Wynn jewelry resilient necklace i love it or strong necklace it just makes me feel so like strong you know it's just so powerful i love it um i want to like layer it with other necklaces i'll link it down below too if you guys want to check it out not sponsored i just love the message behind all of her coins so we're gonna face time broke and get started with recording for guys on the go this week Hey, it never goes through my computer for some reason. I know. Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. Just finished recording. Delaney just finished class. We're heading to go to Trader Joe's to get some groceries. We have our meals planned for the week. The big reveal. You want to tell them what our meals are? Yes. All right. We got chili tonight. We got chicken piccata tomorrow. Chicken piccato tomorrow for sure. And then our classic steak broccoli rice. Good old stir fry moment. Um, and ah, oh, the sun! Ah! Finally. Ooh, it's quite blinding. Guys, Lane and I are dying laughing right now. We are just like relatable Trader Joe's things. Trader Joe's is so stressful. It was so stressful. It is so packed no matter what hour day you go. You can never spend any time looking at new items because there's always people around you waiting for you to move. So stressful. <laughs> but <laughs> thoughts? Um, no, well, we were like talking to him. He goes, don't even get me started on the salad aisle. Like, I can't. <laughs> it's like right next to the fun pastas, the salads. And I always want to look at it because I never get the chance to see what's there. But I can't because it's right when you walk in the store it's and people so are like uh, uh, trying to get through. Literally, it's, so it's like stressful. everyone's like, it's like the flower aisle. I don't know if it falls. Yes, the flower aisle. <laughs> it's like the flowers and then it's like the freaking salads. And I wanted to look at the soups, but there was like so many people you can't. Like, trying you can't. to get to the vegetables and you just can't. It's horrible. <laughs> and then they, they're doing this thing because of COVID where you have to wait outside in line and they only let a certain number of people in so there's limited carts so when you walk out with oh. your cart they follow you to your car um so i just love how they always talk to you at trader joe's and delaney and her trader joe's guy looked like <laughs> we they were, were really, really getting like getting they were hitting it off hitting it off and so i took a little video and i sent it to our friend snapchat group <laughs> 
And I was like, Delaney's literally on a date right now. And so Delaney's up front. He's helping me in the trunk, putting stuff in. And simultaneously looking at her phone while she's watching the I'm video. I'm up here watching the video. He's all the way back there going, oh, you got a video of my coworker? Like, looking two <laughs> seats in front to see what's on my phone. I'm like, mind your business, sir. Like, <laughs> I could have been looking at anything on my phone. It was just like and very overwhelming I'm overall. Just <laughs> all together. Love Trader Joe's. But love it, but. Just just a lot. That's why we don't go every week because Kroger, you just go you in. You go, no one talks to you. Out. It's amazing. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. We have got a grocery haul coming at ya. Um, here we go. <laughs> a lot of just like essentials or just things for our meals. The Lady of Trader Joe's though, I will say, hyped us up for planning meals every week, which I felt really sweet about. It was really nice. Got more Greek yogurt. Um, I've been actually executing yoga parfaits in the morning, so I ran out of my last one. Here we go. Everything bagels, so good. Um, more just regular bread, got tortillas. Sometimes I like to make little breakfast burritos or we actually talked about um, making chicken quesadillas with our leftover chicken. Um, two things of the frozen bean and bright rice Doritos. They're so great. I'm trying one of these ginger shots. I've never tried them from Trader Joe's before. I'm on a Sauvignon Blanc kick. Usually a Pinot Grigio gal. No hate against Pinot Grigio, but I like this. This is $2.99 at Trader Joe's and it's actually good. Bananas, broccoli for our broccoli beef stir fry, um, honey crisp apples. I tend to really like these, I've found. Water crackers, because I got some brie just to have if we just, you know, snack. Berries, love the sparkling water. It's, it's basically LaCroix. I just always tend to get it when I'm at Trader Joe's. I got four of these kombuchas, they gave me a box. Um, and yeah, I think that's kind of the overview. We're gonna try this movie theater popcorn. Decided to try that. Delaney got some scalloped potato chips. Oh, no. Ooh, she got and penne. Zippers. These are good. She got baguette, baguette for the chili. The best bread ever. So we're gonna put all this stuff away and then get prepped for um, our chili and just pop it in the pot and let that cook for like 30 minutes. So I'm excited. Gosh, I just love the look of a stocked fridge. I feel like everyone can agree it's the best. It's ginger shot time. I'm gonna give a review. I'm a ginger shot reviewer these days. I love how this smells actually, so cheers. That went down so smoothly. Really? Oh my god. Oh, it's got coconut water in it. The jazz vibes will be chop up. Woo! I'm so excited. I'm using my Our Place Always Pan. For the first time tonight, updates to come. I literally love this thing with all my heart and soul. It's the best for chopping up vegetables. I mean, look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm really tearing up so bad. All right, we got all the veggies cooking. We got onions, garlic, and celery. I'm loving this pan so far. I like how it's like higher up so things don't fall over. And oh, there is nothing that smells better than onions cooking. I'm gonna pop that on. These are the chili beans we use. It's two cans of this and literally the recipe's on the back, so it's incredible. All right, everything's in. Now we're gonna let simmer for 30 to 40 minutes, hopefully on the 30 side. Hello everybody, so <laughs> while the chili is in the pot, um, I totally just remembered I have a meeting at 6.30 in three minutes and it's video, so I wanted to look all cute and presentable. I just have these clips up right now. I just used the Dyson Airwrap. I used the bigger of the two barrels, um, one for each side, and added a little makeup on it and put on mascara. I just like didn't feel like it. And I'm really happy. Like it's just so easy. And I just really think I like my hair a lot better curly when it comes to the extensions. Yeah, I think dinner's almost ready, but I need to hop on the call. See you guys after. Just finished my call. Put my hair back in the clips just so they're out of my face. Oh, Brooke's calling me. Gonna make some chili. It was delicious. I know you're hungry, need to eat. It's okay, I'll just eat while I. All right, guys, the results are in. The chili's great. Um, do you want some, Brooke? <laughs>
guys it's wednesday and we don't have class today we don't have school because um instead of having a spring break they're giving us i think like four or five instructional breaks throughout the semester of course like on random days so like today's wednesday we have off on a random friday i don't know kind of random but i'm okay with it i'm kind of still treating today as a work day because it's in the middle of the week and I don't have to focus, I don't have class, so I can like, you know, do my other fun stuff. So I've had a lovely leisurely morning, made a little egg and bagel breakfast, Lady and I watched some YouTube, showered, did my skincare. In 30 minutes, I am going to pop on my computer with Brooke and Jordan Rebecca, and Brooke and I are going to be on Bitch Work Podcast. One of our very good friends, Jordan, she created her own podcast. I love the concept behind it, talking to different gals in different careers, and I'm so honored that she wanted um, Brooke and I on, honestly. So yeah, uh, she just told Brooke and I that she's thinking of um, doing like a video component, like recording our video as well, since it's virtual, obviously. So Brooke and I are both like, okay, gotta look somewhat presentable here. Um, I used my Dyson Airweb last night and now my hair like already is greasy. I'm just still trying to figure out the extensions, but I just posted a picture on Instagram today and y'all just like hype me up and I just don't deserve it. So thank you all so much. I'm still getting used to the hair. I get more and more used to it every day. It gets easier and easier. But uh, everyone's just like, oh my gosh, your hair glow up. And I'm like, wow, okay, thanks. Um, so yeah, I guess update. I'm still liking the good old extension. I do, like I used to just always style my hair like straight or like a blown out look. And my hair just does not look good straight with the extensions in my opinion. But I like the curls. It's fun. It's easy. All right, guys, we're recording. Everyone say hey. Yay! <laughs> All right, guys, just finished recording. It was such an amazing episode. It's going up this Monday, February 22nd. So as you guys are watching this, it's going up tomorrow. I'll be promoting it on my Instagram, but uh, it was such a good episode. We talked about how we're all three in different points in our life, and we talked about stuff that we don't talk about on Gals in the Go, I found. So here's my little Target fit. I've only changed like five times today already. Top is from Revolve. It's a bodysuit. Necklace, the Gold Hour Co. Jeans, American Eagle. Love them. Air Force Ones. The take a bag. Let's go. Today's mask is this one from Kitsch. Gonna fill up my water bottle. An Ariana Grande day. Oh, it's so beautiful out. Wait. Okay, we were just giggling for like really random reasons. And Delaney goes. I said, oh my God, this is the same road where we were dying la la laughing yesterday about our Trader Joe's experience. Like there's something about this road that makes us die laughing. Yeah, she's like, why do we always giggle on this road? And I was like, wait, you're not wrong because I know I've giggled on this road with you. We're having flashbacks. <laughs> like before yesterday, like something, what road are we on? Bro this is Broad Street. Broad Street. We're yeah. just on Broad Street. So like a certain Section that certain um, intersection by like if you're about to start if you live in Athens if you're about to turn left like onto Alps like to go to Crunch or like Chili's or Chipotle or any of that. Really? What the really hell? Really random. Wait, we're such gigglers on this road. Anyways, just had to share. All right, Target bound we go. Oh my gosh, I forgot about St. Patrick's Day. So many things. Yee. The Isle of All Isles, mirrors and candles. So I did an Instagram poll and a lot of people said the stone scent is really good. Oh my gosh, they have them. Wait, stop. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is my favorite scent, the Jasmine and Elongy Long. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy they're still here. Need new dish soap and there's so many cool options. All right, you guys, it's Target haul time. Starting off, we needed some new dish soap and there were so many amazing options. But I landed on this Method dish soap in the lemon mint scent. Um, I just liked how it had a little squirter top or whatever. That's really convenient, so I'm gonna pop that in the kitchen. I wanted to get some shampoo and conditioner that's not like Olaplex or Purple Shampoo because I was told that using Olaplex every time um, can actually weaken your hair. So I, correct me if I'm wrong, that's what I heard. So I just wanted like a daily shampoo that I could use in between using Purple Shampoo and Olaplex. I've heard of this brand before, Kristen S. I got the daily cleansing shampoo and the shine enhancing conditioner um yeah i just i don't know we'll see there are these cute little bottles they're sulfate free um and some other things it says see what we're free of on the back cruelty free color and keratin safe it's vegan free of added fragrance so i don't know i'll let you guys know i just felt like i needed some sort of like daily shampoo they always get you at the checkout aisle <laughs> i got some extra gum 
just to like have at my desk or maybe pop it in my car, I haven't decided. You know what time it is. <laughs> Ryan always talks about how his skin's really dry and he just like never goes and purchases himself lotion And then I saw my friend post on her snapchat story that she got her boyfriend this moisturizer um, Normalized guys using skincare, so I got this for Ryan um, I kind of told him I was gonna get him some but I don't know if he really believed me um, Like Delaney said her brother uses this. It's just like a daily moisturizing lotion. No fragrance It's just good because during this time of year your skin gets dry So I'm gonna give him that some candle stuff needed a new lighter I love this one and they don't sell this at the CVS I go to so I was really excited to see this at Target Got three candles. I made a little TikTok of all my favorite candles though. So go check out my TikTok But um, yeah, this is a repurchase for me. I've used this so much. It also just one, it smells amazing. I love the scent of, I love the smell of Ylang Ylang. Um, it's so lovely. And then it's got some rose, some jasmine. It's so relaxing. However, however, normally I have it in a, like a taller cylinder, but they only sold it in this, but I'm sure it's going to last a little longer too. I got this one. This is a new one for me. I've never smelled it before. It's the Noir Ode Wood and Musk, I believe it's called. No, that's how you say it. I have like a man scent. I really like it. It gives me vetiver vibes. It's just like a musky scent. I thought it was a nice like nighttime scent. <laughs> and then this one, a lot of you guys told me on my Instagram story to check out. Um, it's a coconut and soy natural wax blend. And it's from the brand Stone, I guess. Or like, I don't really know. They said look for the Stone line. I don't know if there's different scents under Stone. But I loved this one. It's called Stone Lemon and Grapefruit. And it smells it's weird, as weird as it is. It smells like this hotel that my family and I used to stay at a lot. Like by the beach. And it just brings back mm, really good memories. So yeah, that's everything I got at Target. I'm probably going to get back into comfy clothes. And Ryan just texted me. And he's going to bring me some lunch. Which is really sweet. So... That'll be fun. Right, lighting. Oh, we love a new lighter. Oh my gosh, that is just, that is beautiful. Look who it is. Ryan, I got you a, a gift. You got me a gift? Why? Oh yeah, you're going to love it. Daily moisturizing lotion? <laughs> it's, a, what, it's the one all the boyfriends are using. You put it on your face? Yeah. Okay. The best lunch ever. I got you a present. Yeah, you got me a present. Thank there you. you. <laughs> You guys, Ryan just sent a review of the moisturizer of him applying it. Let's roll the clip. All right, how's it going, everybody? It's Ryan, I just got out of the shower. Danielle asked me to review the CeraVe Daily Moisturizer Lotion. I'm gonna try it out. I think you're supposed to use like a dime dot. But I'm gonna use more, I got a big nose. Got that much. Okay, here goes nothing. First time using skin moisturizer. It's like putting on sunscreen, I guess. I don't know, can you see it? So, great stuff, 10 out of 10. So Ryan just left, I'm on a walk now. Guys, this right here in downtown Athens is gonna be a target. It's probably gonna be done by the time I'm graduated, so I'm kinda sad, but it's coming along. Headed to North Campus to pick up my strike sweatshirt. We got merch, so I wanted to cop some. Now working on a Canva presentation for our business simulation project for our apparel quality analysis class. We're working on blazers for, in specific, like comfortable blazers for women to pop on for a Zoom meeting or something like that. Um, so this week we have to talk about our customer quality standards and then the raw material selections and why. Currently switching out my Apple Watch Band from the gold to this white sports one for spin. I'm really thankful my walking professor has been allowing um, my spin classes to count, which is really nice because then, I don't know, it's nice because it counts. <laughs> I'm about to head to spin. I heard yesterday was Finley's four month birthday. <laughs> Hold on one second, Dad. I'm gonna take a ginger shot. <laughs> Over and out, BRB. 
I love walkie talkie. Okay, over now, enjoy. <laughs> Guys, um, they also have an immunity shot, which I also like, but I'm just in the mood for some pure ginger. Bottoms up. Woo. Did you get it at Target? <laughs> No, I got it at Arden's Garden. They have like pressed ginger, like just solely ginger. just got back from spin it was such a great class I'm so glad I went and revived me per usual um, and I came back and Delaney and my friend Katie are here and they're cooking chicken piccata I'm so excited we're just gonna have a little night eat the chicken piccata and I think we're gonna watch lol lol with Miley Cyrus Ugh, the movie is so good I need to shower I washed my hair yesterday so I'm like I'm very thankful. My hair definitely lasts through a workout. I just need to like blow dry, add some dry shampoo. Um, so, anyway, shower, get cozy. Chicken piccata! Ah! Just got out of the shower, put on my CEO Glow Serum, put on some earrings just to feel something. My Skims nightgown. It's just, I already just know it's gonna be a great night. Delaney just called my name, said the dinner is ready. Oh. There goes my babe. Sing it, girl! Oh my gosh, she's using the always pan. Go off. Look at that preparation. Oh. She's beautiful. Looks good. All right, it's LOL time. We Just finished, not one, but two movies. We've had a night. Um, we watched LOL, and then we watched Pitch Perfect after. Just some classics, you know? Some feel good. And now it is 11.51. Ooh, we've got leftovers from the chicken piccata. Maybe the pasta's bad for sure. No, 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 no. Not if we put the sauce over the pasta. Well, that little piece, but yeah, we can do it. It's definitely doable. Um, but yeah, good night. See you guys tomorrow. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Do just what you want. You're the one I trust. And I always be right. We all liked them all, basically, so that's good. All right, now the tough time, uh, thing comes. You gotta narrow it down to one. Okay, good morning, you guys. Um, just finished my 9.30 class. It's so funny. Sometimes in this class, we have to do breakout rooms, and I'm like, oh, I'm tired. Um, but thankfully, when we got to our breakout room, none of us put our video on. We were all just like, nah, fam. So I love my group, too. They're all super fun. We were like talking, obviously, and enthusiastic, but none of us, you know, bedhead, you know, all the things. Uh, but it was so funny because for this class, we have a partner and we all like, there's a, we have a small group. So in our breakout room, there's four different groups of two. And we all had to come up with um, thank you card designs basically for all of our guests. It's like one of the projects we have um, with like certain design elements, everything. And um, <laughs> me and my partner won. And I was so not expecting that because I loved all the others. And we like had a tiebreaker and then we won again. And I'm just laughing because um, I'm texting with her right now and we were just so confused. Like, I mean, I'm honored and it's so exciting, but um, yeah, so then we like, she's taking um, the winners from each breakout room and presenting it to um, judges essentially that are in the design space that either work at a design firm or um, do something in the creative world. So it's really interesting. This class is really interesting in general. You guys are probably like what, um, it's the weirdest class I've ever taken, but it's kind of on at the same time. Um, so yeah, I have to email her now our presentation since we won out of our breakout room and I just thought I'd share it with you guys Because um, yeah, I had fun designing that too. It was kind of kind of funny. So basically we did this for the cover um, It's just thank you. I just thought the colors were very soothing yet happy at the same time Added these five different elements because I feel like they all have to do with different um creative careers because we have someone each week from some, like either an interior designer or an artist or a photographer um, so I thought that kind of went along pretty well and then my partner came up with the idea this like bigger idea of life is a puzzle and we wanted to figure out a way to kind of incorporate both of them so we made 
this design a puzzle. Um, and yeah, we like had to pick our color scheme. And on the back, we actually have one of our favorite quotes. You will never influence the world by being just like it. So our group liked it. So I'm sending that our way or her way. I'm also just laughing because my walking document every week that I have to submit is the funniest thing. Like I have to take a selfie with my Apple Watch to show like it was me that did the workout and it's just so funny. Breakfast time, we're doing a yogurt parfait this fine morning. <laughs> uh, she's beautiful. All right, you guys, it's been a lovely little cozy, leisurely morning here in the Free Carolyn household. <laughs> Um, but I'm gonna go shower and I'm going to class in person today and it's gonna be a good time even though it's really gross out I just really love going to this class and I love the professor and she's so cute so yeah just another day all right you guys here is my class fit I'm wearing my new strike sweatshirt I'm obsessed with it I got an XL it's like embroidered it's so fun Wearing this little Amazon turtleneck that I always wear for layering underneath because it's pretty cold out. Splits 59 flare leggings. And then um, my Air Force Ones per normal. Hoop earrings are from 60 stacks. And then I'm into this tote vibe. Just bringing a tote bag to class because I don't have much. And then my Aritzia Super Puff Puffer because it's a little rainy out and this is super warm. And it has a hood. So let's go to class. So didn't realize it was raining. Like I knew it was gonna maybe rain, but it's like raining, raining. <laughs> and I just missed the bus. Like I watched it go by. So it was fun. So at the bus stop, waiting. It's like nine minutes away. So I'll be here for a minute. <laughs> I'm like looking at Starbucks. Like should I go get some? And I'm like, no, no, you don't need it. Okay, upon further review, probably won't be taking the bus much more this semester. There's like, oh my gosh, there's been three of these East Campus buses. I need so many other ones. Oof. I have seen so many buses come by and just not mine. I mean, I could go on like two or three different ones and just none of them. By this time, I probably could have walked there. I've got the bus stop blues though. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm just gonna walk. Headed to spin class, got this Prevello set on, I love it. Jacket, Aritzia, mask, kitsch, let's go. All right, you guys, just got to spin. I literally have my light on for like extra lighting. I'm gonna take a little ginger shot before. This is my pre-workout. All right, whew, bottoms up. <laughs> All right, let's do this. You guys, I had no idea, but today was my 100th ride, so I got surprised with a 100 Club t shirt, and they like shouted us, me and this other girl, it was both of our 100 rides, 100th ride, and um, she would like shout us out during the class and be like, How are we doing? It was so exciting, so yay, it's like a lot of rides. All right, just got back from spin, did a quick change, showered, or a body shower, I guess you could say. And I'm headed to my girl, Jess, at Golden Sunless Tan. She does the best spray tans. I'm personally just terrible at self-tanning, and I am willing to, you know, go the extra mile to do the spray tan. I'm really looking forward to a little glow, and I'm taking some pictures and stuff this weekend for some stuff, so. Makes sense. Got my OG Girls on the Go tie-dye hoodie. Love it. Got my claw clipped, put my hair up. Then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna have some dinner. I think we're doing leftovers though because we have been cooking so much and now we have so much leftovers in our fridge. So that's always a good problem to have. Just got back from spray tan. I am so excited to be tan. I just stopped by my friend Charlotte's house and she gave me some new items from her store, Shop Love Fool on Instagram. Such cute stuff. She has the cutest style. I've just always been so amazed by her creativity. She's also a fashion merchandising major here 
too, so shout out. Um, I'm going to be taking some pictures in these, but this really, really cute um, buttons cardigan sweater. I don't know what you want to call it. Love the cherries. I'm really into I've been using the cherry emoji lately, so pretty pumped to um, bring it to life. Um, and I love it. She's got her um, store logo sewn in there. That's awesome. This dress is absolutely stunning. It's like a little corset vibe um, and these flowy sleeves. So fun. I think this would be really cool with my like really thick Windsor Smith sneakers. And then we've got this really cute top. I feel like Angels or this style is very in right now. Um, and it says Los Angeles Lovers. And I love the ribbed tee. So check her out. I'm so pumped. Good morning. <laughs> it is Friday morning. And I've got some homework and quizzes to do. The sun is creeping its way out and I'm not mad about that. Today is a day full of pretty much schoolwork. And then um, I have a Zoom or a Google Hangout meeting thing and hoping to take some pictures today. This is all just blurry. Also wanna do a little revolve haul for you guys cause I got um, my package in from there and I like the stuff I got. But yeah, Delaney and I are going to head down to the lounge in our apartment and just grind it out because we both just like want to go somewhere else to get our work done. So that's what we're going to do. Probably just going to wear this little set from by Bruno. And yeah, gloomy day. I really think this might be my best look yet. Definitely. Delaney's out there on the phone, but guys, look. I just love seeing when she's using my planner. It makes me so happy. Look at everything that's been crossed off. To be fair, some of this was from yesterday. I didn't do a new doing all daily today. This is from yesterday's, but I had like half of this crossed off. Now it's all done. I'm a happy camper, cause it's 2.49 on a Friday, and I got all my stuff done, woo! Well. All of my school stuff done as you guys saw and then I just started working on editing this video um, but now it is lunchtime and I'm gonna eat lunch I'm gonna shower finally wash my hair um, and like I said take some pics so I have some leftovers of some sort that I can eat oh I don't like how that looks so yeah I know I look like a mess <laughs> Hi folks, so I just edited most of this video and I'm really really happy about it. I know it's already really long, but we're gonna end this vlog off with a little revolve haul. I'll have everything linked down below that I got. I'm literally so excited about these pieces. Okay, let's just go. I'm sorry it's not try on because I'm lazy. I am just lazy right now and I really want to take a shower, but I want to like finish this video so I can shower and just be like, I'm done. You know, I don't know. I don't know. So this is one of my favorite pieces I got. I am so obsessed. The seat, this is like definitely getting into the springtime vibes. I got a two piece little sweater cardigan set. So this is the first piece. This one's from Lovers and Friends and it's this light blue color. It's a cable knit situation cropped cardigan. There's three buttons down the middle. And then if you want to buy separately, there is this tube top that goes underneath and it looked so cute on the model to wear this over top of this, like with the buttons open and some jeans. Next up, I love this sweater. I feel like I'm gonna wear this a lot. Um, it's just a simple brown, um, turtleneck sweater however there's a cold shoulder on either side and I love cold shoulders I think it's really nice if you want to like wear this with some leather leggings and it's more of a I don't know it's just like shows a little skin it's not super like sweater I don't know I like cold shoulders is what I'm trying to say um and I love this color it's absolutely beautiful it's super warm love it next up we've got this I have another one similar to this but I literally wear it all the time it's this um, sweatshirt material romper with a hood in the back. I love it. I love the detailing here in the front, the pants, everything of the sorts. It's blurby. I'm really excited to just wear these shorts around the apartment all the time. And maybe I'll figure out a way to like wear them out. Um, but they're just kind of, they're this ribbed material. They're just shorts. I like how they kind of angle up though. And I love the smocked waist. That's always super stretchy comfortable very flattering usually so i haven't tried it on yet but i'm excited to just wear this with like 
a crop tank top while I'm just doing stuff around the apartment and my Ugg slippers. Oh my gosh, this shirt is so cute and so unique. Like, I wanna wear this ASAP. It is this bright bubblegum pink blouse. It's a one shoulder. So it's got, you know, one sleeve here with some button detailing. And then on this side, it's like a fake lace cami. And then your arm goes through this, if that makes sense, on this side. I just think this is gonna be so cute with some just blue jeans. And this will be great, honestly, with a skirt too, once it gets a little bit warmer outside. I'm really looking forward to that. I just love this top. I think it's like a statement top. Next up, this looks like a dress off the body, but it's definitely a shirt. It's just like a taupe turtleneck, wide sleeves, and then it comes with like this robe style, um, what's the word, like little belt, I guess you could say, and then you use that to cinch the waistline, and then you just kind of pull it up a little bit, and it's this really cute top, me trying to show you guys. I just think this would be really cute with my black commando leather leggings and my black Mark Fisher like pointed boots. Such a chic look. So this would be a really great top also to wear with jeans. If you're wearing jeans and leather leggings, that's pretty much it, and sweatpants if you guys can't tell. Um, this is just like a light, this is like a tan slash peachy blushy colored top. I liked um, the lining on it and I like how it cinches in the front. I think that's very, very flattering. This is from the brand Lovers and Friends as well. Love, love, love this shirt. I feel like I'm gonna have this for a long time. It's this polka dotted blouse and it has two arms, I guess you could say, but one is like higher up on the shoulder. Um, again, love this. It's just black and white, a very chic look as well. I'm into fashion right now, as you guys know, so I always love getting new pieces to style on my Instagram. So follow me on Instagram, at Danielle Carolyn. Gosh, this top is so cool too, to wear with like sweatpants or like jeans. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. So this is what it is. The brand Super Down, which I love shopping on Super Down on Revolve because it's like a little bit less expensive and I find them to be a little bit more youthful looking, some of their stuff. I don't know. I love the Super Down line, so go check them out for sure. I'll have this link below, but it's this ribbed gray tank top with, I mean, super sick detailing. I clearly am into that interesting neckline right now. I got this. Okay, this is probably hard for you guys to see. It's a long sleeve, just gray top, and basically it has like cutouts like on the, like on your shoulders kind of. It's like shoulder cutout. <laughs> and lastly, planning my grad photos, which is so crazy to think about. So I got this simple yet kind of funky in a way um, black dress. I'll link it down below if you guys are looking for like a graduation photos dress. I think on graduation we wear a white dress. I don't even know what graduation is going to be like this year, so who knows. But um, it's this just long sleeve. It's a little bit stretchy material, black dress. I like how it flares out on the bottom, so it's a little bit more conservative. has some cool ruching. And then you'll be able to see better on, but there's like a cutout right here. So it's like a fun little skin moment there. But we'll see how this fits. So yeah, that's everything I got from Revolve. I thought it'd be fun to do a little Revolve haul. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. I really enjoyed it. I always wanna film these other videos, but then I just love doing these college week in my life. And obviously once I graduate, I'll have more time and be able to film more than, you know, one or two videos a week. But I really appreciate y'all's support always. Subscribe if you're new here. And I hope you're all having an amazing day. I love you guys. Bye-bye.